See the game more clearly with extra view lenses from Norval Opticians with £50 off our exclusive freeform frames. Quite some season for Hartbury, unbeaten so far, and now with the cup final on Saturday. It's been a tremendous season for across the Hartbury women. Yeah, it's been a fantastic season. Like The girls have done really well. There's some uh, great ethos within the team, great culture that we're trying to um, create within us. We're playing some fantastic, expansive rugby, um, and our forwards are really dominant in up front. And we're probably getting, we're getting, re we're getting led really well by our coaches as well. So it's an exciting time on Saturday. Gemma, we're just a few days ahead of the Intermediate Cup final. How excited is the squad? Um, we're really excited. Um, it's going to be a big test and a big challenge for us, um, but it's what we've worked hard for all season. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a really good day. Uh, you've already played two fairly similar teams in Trojans and also Hove beating them in the Cup semi-final and quarter-final. What are you expecting on Saturday? I think it's going to be a very difficult game. I think it's going to be a challenge. Um, Percy don't know much about them at the moment. I know they are third in the league, but I think we're, we're looking at us. We need to go. We know what we've got. We know that we need to go out there. Um, so I think we're just going to play our kind of rugby, uh, hit them hard up front, big defensive game, and then ex uh, expansive rugby. Now you finished the league unbeaten. How much would it mean to obviously finish the cup campaign unbeaten and lift that trophy? Um, it would be really good. It would be, it would be the, uh, the the icing on the cake for us. Um, as I said, we've worked really hard as a team. We've got really young players. We've got some experienced players. So it's had its challenges in terms of um, getting that group of players to work cohesively. Um, but we've done well and um, we'll see at the weekend. And finally, while you're away with Wales, obviously on Six Nations duty, the news came through that Gloucester Hartbury are going to be competing in women's super rugby next season. That's absolutely fantastic for the, the set-up, isn't it? It's brilliant. The, the facilities that we have here in Hartbury is fantastic. Um, when I got the news, I was really excited. Like, obviously, I was around um, the girls from, like, Wasps, um, Richmond, Harlequins. So it was a very good buzz within camp, and it's an exciting opportunity next year for us to just develop as a team and to show what we have got. Like, we've only been together for um, three years, so we've had to start at the bottom, work our way up. So we weren't even expecting it ourselves, but with the facilities that we've got and the development pathway through um, our ASO college and our uni, it's a great opportunity to come in. So hopefully we can get a lot of girls in and build on our team success. And finally, there's going to be another game at King's Home after Gloucester play Exeter. Um, obviously, the girls had a taste of the King's Home atmosphere after the, uh, the, the game recently. How exciting was that and uh, how much do you think they're going to enjoy it again? Uh, it's always a privilege to play at such a big stadium. Not every player will have that experience. Um, so every time we do go out and we play there, um, we're really proud to wear the badge and, and go out and represent Gloucester and Gloucester Hartbury. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you.